Hello everyone, it's the uh, Irish Funner today and um, we're just going to go through uh, a few notes on uh, championship races now. Uh, some people tend to judge people for what time they tend to get in a championship race and I think that that's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's always so, it's always tactical and um, it's just not on. And I, I was reading a book here, I'll get the book for you now. Uh, it's called uh, Ronnie Delaney, Saying the Distance and uh, yeah, he went to... Uh, on a scholarship in America, uh, Villanova in 1954. And um, in his, either his first or second year, he uh, ran a, I know this was his second year there, he ran a, he ran a mile race in um, uh, an indoor race. So his PB was 405, but he ran a tactical race, which was, we won at 415. And the next day, people started throwing paper cups at him. And um, I think that's ridiculous. You should, it really annoys me the way people, George others for what time they get in a championship race and uh, it's slow, it's tactical and so it's all about where you finish. I mean, think about Mo Farrow, sure, oh no, Edris, he won the 5,013.32, I'd say he goes sub 12.50 to be honest. Uh, I don't know what his PB is but uh, as you see, uh, that, that was what, the way Ryan Delaney was, he, he didn't really race to uh, win, he raced to, um, sorry yeah, he did race to win, he, he didn't really like just racing against the clock. And uh, he hated it with the way other people uh, wanted him to race against the clock. And um, I remember uh, three years ago, I was running in the uh, the Lancer Schools 1500, and um, uh, I didn't get through anyway. But uh, I ran 4:27. My PB from the previous year was 4:27, and uh, my dad was big into it. Uh, this he really pissed me off. I mean, my my dad was um was big into my running. He tried to train me. He need, but I think he took too much of an interest. He was too judgmental. I mean. For some reason, he wants me to do really low mileage, and he expected me to just uh, do well on that somehow. I don't know what he's thinking. Just do 400 meter intervals all the time, and uh, no mo- long runs no longer than four miles. And um, so he was giving out to me for only running 4:27, and uh, I told him my coach uh, timed me in the North Lancers the previous, you know, two weeks ago or something like that. Um, around 4:20 according to him, and he didn't believe me. He said, "Oh, sure, you're not improving. You're only you're only running 4:27." And I just couldn't believe him. I was like, sure, we run the first 800 and, f- uh, what, uh, 235. That's 510 mile pace. I mean, I'm hardly going to get a PB. And my dad, my dad was just giving out giving out to me, saying, you're not capable of a PB because you ran the first half race too slow. I said, it was my fault. No, like, what? there's other people in the race who are ahead of me. Why would I lead them? Sure, one of those guys ran 347 that summer. That, that just really annoys me. And, um, yeah, yeah. It's good thing he's not really coached me. I haven't really talked, spoken to him in ages because he's too much of a whiny bastard. And um, he, uh, uh, the good guy who went on to win the nationals that year was uh, yeah, he ran four ten in the in the national final. He he ran what three forty seven. So he's capable of much faster. So that's the way it is. I mean, that's what they're saying. It, it's it helps prepare you for the championship races abroad if you can get used to them in Ireland because that's how it happens all over the world. And yeah, being a good uh, time trial over 1500, getting good times is one thing, but to actually be able to run in a tactical race, so the first half race is slow, then speed up in the second half to run a fast uh, time overall, that, that's just what you need to do if you want to win races, because that's the way championship races are. And um, yeah, and then uh, my uh, even my brother was giving out to me, he said, you should have led the guys who are ahead of you, even though that seems stupid, those guys are so much better than me, why would I lead them? Sure, you know, that's the thing. And uh Anyway, I took his advice, so then the next year I ran in the North Lancers, the 1500, and um, I took the race after, uh, some, my eyes are all itchy, after what, like 100, 200 metres or something, and um, the other guys just ended up running past me, I just felt like an idiot, so, yeah, I didn't list, I didn't do that again, you know, time to race, just forget about the time, it's where you finish, and uh, that, that's my advice to everyone. Okay, so uh, this is the Irish Funner today, a uh, quick video on uh, time to race is, uh, uh, if you have any uh, other experiences of uh, how you think, do, what is your opinion on the topic? Do you think that people should uh, run f- fast in terms of races? Some some guy who should just take off um, at the start, even if they're not the best, just to run to get a fast time, or should or is it fine the way it is? Because that's the way it is everywhere. Uh, what what do you think about? It? Do you, do you ever get hated when people criticise you for running slow time to championship your brace or? When the uh, commentators, like I was watching on the YouTube and National Championship, the commentators were uh, giving out about the runners, and really it pissed me off. I mean, they were saying, "God, these guys are going at a pedestrian pace," 
And then some guy uh, starts to pick up the pace and lead up. And then he says, oh, now this guy, now he's going at a pace that is, uh, brings a bit of respectability into the race. It's like, what? Respectability? How? Sure, the only respectability he gets for winning a medal. It's not about... Uh, I just don't get that. Anyway, so uh, see you later.